What's going on everybody? I decided to break out my old airbrush set and uh, airbrush some of these, a uh, couple of my masks that I have. Figured why not, don't like white ones because then if you stain them just a little bit, maybe drop some food on them like I do, uh, then you're going to have a stain mark on them. It doesn't matter if you wash them or not because the food stain will still be in there. So today I'm going to be using my old master uh, Airbrush, I also have it even an older Pache that I'm not going to be using today. Set that aside. This one is a gravity feed. You push down and pull back and it shoots the uh, uh, paint out of it. And then I'm also going to be using fabric uh, formulated airbrush paint. And to thin it down I have some generic uh, glass cleaner with ammonia in it. I will have to wash these down and in order to set them I'll probably throw them in the dryer first. Haven't done any airbrushing for a very long time and I've never airbrushed on something that wasn't flat. I don't know exactly how I'm going to get a couple of my uh, stencils on there properly to uh, get a good picture out of it but I'm going to play and try. Who knows it might actually look good. So this black here it's very goopy, haven't used it in a couple years, so I'm not going to be able to use this old one here. Break out a nice, nicer one here. This one has not been opened yet. Start with my darkest color and work my way out. And give it a quick shot. and test spray that should work just fine won't need much in here I was thinking maybe tie it off on here but then by doing so I can't really get the uh, pattern on Lay out the mask best I can. Oh yeah, this is going to be tough. I think it's best to do this as if you have a mask that has not been put together yet. We'll see. I'm just playing, having fun today. And I had a little bit of splatter going. Like I said, I have not airbrushed in a couple of years. Go ahead and add some more paint to this thing. It's so one of the things I like about the uh, master brush that's gravity fed. Makes it really easy to shake some paint up inside of it. And uh, also make it so it uh, feeds out easier. As you can see, I'm doing a very, very light coat on this. I probably have some master artist leave something in the comments like, I need to do it this way or I need to do it that way. Well, remember, I'm just a hobbyist. Um, I would appreciate any type of thing in the comments. If somebody is a good airbrusher and knows a better way to uh, do angled material, And uh, this helped me out a little bit. I sure do envy the uh, car detailers that can do this and the artists that get all over the cars, especially the, the ones that make some awesome designs. They are perfect artists in the, in the trade. Let's see how that turned out. Not too bad. Now I'm going to put it up here. 
add a little bit different color to it. It'll take me a second and get back when I clean out my airbrush of the black. So see you in a second. Now let's see, which color do I want to use on the inside? I got some red that's already mixed up pretty good. I can do some red around the face there. Nice and a red school out there. Yeah, what do you think? Leave me a comment in the comments below if you think I should give up my art career. Well, what do you think? I got another one to try out. Let me clean this out again. Change colors probably. All right, so I'm going to try this one with my one of my favorite stencils. Hopefully it works. This is my skull and crossbones, or actually skull and cross sabers. Let's see. Oh, I'm dripping all over the place. Forgot to put my cap on. Fail. Ugh. I forgot to put my cap on. Ugh. Oh no. Let's see how bad I ruined it. Ah. Oh, one little mistake. Cause the whole thing to fail. All right, how can I salvage it? Well, let's just go for it. Get some practice out of it anyway. The only thing I can think of is go real dark along the bottom there. Uh, Maybe some black. Do a little freestyle here. Throw these over the top of this thing and go go to town on it. Let's just make a frame. Hide some of that at the bottom. Make a nice brown frame around the outside. All right, got it cleaned out again. I was thinking almost a light yellow might work really good on this. So what do you think? This little mark right here, unless you watch the video, you really won't notice that I made a mistake there and dripped. Let's do one more. My uh, air compressor finally kicked in. And I was tying this on. I'm trying to think of what type of design to put on. And I was thinking, why not a little bit of sky blue? And let's see. Just a little tiny bit of blue in this one. I'm just going to do a whole blue one, just nice and easy off. And it slapped me. I haven't done this for a couple years. I forgot my cap again. 
Almost made a mess. Well, it doesn't look too bad. And darken that up a little bit around the outsides of it. And this one, I sort of just want to get a ghost pattern out there in the clouds. You're going to barely be able to see the ship. Okay, I got all three of them done. I have to throw them in the dryer in order to have the uh, uh, paint set in them. Then I'm going to wash them, throw them in the dryer again to make sure they set good. I have my uh, brown skull and cross swords. I have my red skull. And I have my blue ghost boat. Let me know which one in the comments below you like the best. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, push the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.